welcome to my tiny home on wheels. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Catherine, and since May of 2019, I have been living in my truck camper full time. I quit my job, I left my apartment, and me and this camper and my rig have been adventuring the Western United States ever since. If you'd like to catch up on my adventures, I have lots of videos on the channel to view. I did film a tour of my camper back in May of 2019. However, I had only lived in it for about two days, so it wasn't quite home yet. We hadn't been on all the adventures that we've been on now, and my channel was quite smaller, so I wanted to update the tour since the channel's grown quite a bit and for anyone new who might be interested. The camper is a 2000 Lance Light 825. It's eight feet, six inches. The fresh tank capacity is 18 gallons. The gray tank capacity is 11 gallons and the black tank capacity is 10 gallons. It's a very small camper, but Lance has done a great job utilizing this very tiny space. I found it on Craigslist and I purchased it last year for $5,300 and it did come equipped with solar, which was really important for me to have solar. Let's begin the tour in the bedroom, shall we? The mattress is a full queen size mattress. It is eight inches thick with a memory foam top and a spring bottom. I wanted a very comfortable bed coming from a California King in my apartment. And it's nice having a nice big queen size mattress. It fits in here nicely. I have storage cabinets on either side of my bed. The one on the passenger side houses my normal clothes, my street clothes, some nice dresses, things like that. And the one on the left houses my active wear, my hiking clothes. I try to roll my clothes and stuff them in there that way in rolls. It seems to be a better use of space and things fit in there a little bit more nicely that way. For my undergarments, I found these containers that fit under my nightstands perfectly. I have three small tables, so two of them house my undergarments and one of them houses my socks. Along one side of my bed, I do utilize that space for storage. That is where I keep my laundry, some extra blankets, and I have a little nook where I keep books and games and that sort of thing. Over here in the main living space, I do have a nice sized closet. In here, I keep my puffy coats and some shoes that do not fit in my shoe cubby, which I will show you next. Down underneath the dinette, I have two storage cubbies and one of them is used to house my shoes, which I basically just throw into in no certain order. It's pretty much a mess, but it works. For additional storage, I have this cool ottoman that a friend gave to me and it looks like a tree stump. And inside I house my hats and belts and purses. It comes in really handy. Some hats deserve a little extra TLC, so they are attached to this hook. Moving on to the kitchen. It is getting really windy outside and the camper's shaking a bit. So if you see a little bit of camera shake, that is why. In the cabinets uh, above, I keep all of my food. It's pretty much all of my dried goods, all of my backpacking snacks, my soups, my spices, that sort of thing. And also my bowls and plates and backpacking food. The kitchen comes equipped with a two burner stove. However, there is no oven and no microwave. I haven't owned a microwave in over nine years, so I don't miss that at all. And if I do want something baked, I can go to my local store and maybe get a baked chicken or some baked goods. In the lower cabinets, I keep all of my Ziploc bags and pots and pans. This drawer here houses my utensils, my knives, forks, steak knives, spoons, and measuring spoons. I get asked often if the knives fall off the magnetic strip while traveling and they do not and I'm on bumpy roads quite often and the utensil cylinder is attached with command strips and those stay put as well. On the opposite side of the kitchen is the refrigerator. It is a three-way refrigerator. It runs on AC, DC, and propane. Pretty empty. I'm getting ready to go visit home so I'm letting my food run out. Just below the refrigerator, there's a little area of dead space, and that is where I keep my trash can. Something that was incredibly important to me when I was going to hit the road full time was that I had a bathroom. This tiny camper comes equipped with a wet bath. Let's take a look. A wet bath is a bathroom where the toilet and the shower share the same space. It's very tiny, but it is functional, and I do use the shower. 
I found these awesome organizational units to house all my hair products and they are made by command and they are specifically made for bathrooms and moist environments. Very strong and they work very well. This particular unit does not have an air conditioning. It wouldn't have done me much good anyways because I'm boondocking the majority of the time and you need to be plugged in. I did carry around a generator for about a year before I went ahead and left it with a family member because I never used it. <laughs> the camper does have a heater, a furnace to keep me warm on the cold months. However, I use my Mr. Heater Buddy most of the time so that I can conserve the propane in my main tank for heating water and also running my refrigerator. As I mentioned, the camper came equipped with solar on the roof. It was already installed, which was awesome. I was told that it was 400 watts of solar. However, a subscriber corrected me at one time and said that it's less than that. So I don't know exactly how much it is, but it is definitely enough power for me. This is key for me since I work from the road. It keeps all of my devices charged, my computer charged, and I couldn't be happier with the solar. I don't know what I would do without it. I have an inverter, which is stored in the compartment underneath the refrigerator, which runs to two batteries that are housed in the other compartment underneath the dinette. All of the lighting in here has been converted to LED. However, I don't like the harsh white light of the LED. So I have battery operated string lights throughout the camper, over the dinette and around my bed, which gives it a very warm light, a very warm glow, which I really enjoy. We have made it to the last space that I'd like to show you, and that is the dinette area. It's a multi-purpose area. Above the dinette, I have these cabinets, which I use for storage. The left side is just a bit of a catch-all, so there's some weights for exercising, envelopes, and kind of work-related stuff, some paperwork and things like that. The right side houses my extra bathroom linens and extra bathroom products and that sort of thing. As I mentioned, the dinette is a multi-use space with a table in. I sit here for hours on end getting work done on my computer. It's also my dining room table. It does convert into a nice size bed for guests. And I actually do like leaving it in the bed mode slash lounge mode, which I like to just kick back and watch movies with my cozy blanket. Well, I think that is everything. Today, I just wanted to focus on the camper. It obviously sits on a truck. I have a 2002 Chevy Duramax diesel 4x4. However, today, it was just about the tour of my home. I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely love this little camper. I think Lance did an ingenious job of utilizing this tiny little space. Each space, to me, feels like a separate room, and it definitely feels like home. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Make sure to hit the bell icon on my channel's main page to be notified of all of my uploads. Go back and peruse over the last year and a half's videos and see all the adventures I've been on and make sure to stay tuned for future adventures. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.